Hey, so what's the best school on Oahu? Bruh, tell me already. This will be a three-part series on the best schools on Oahu in 2020. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over the top 10 elementary schools on the island, including which school I would send my child to if I could pick any school. I wanna mention that I'm not using an official list from the Department of Education because honestly, that'd be pretty messed up. Rather, it's based on Sumu's rankings, which if you don't know, Sumu is a Japanese handbook that they publish each year for the Japanese people as a guide to living in Hawaii. It's basically a handbook with tips and advice on how to be Kama'aina in Hawaii. So if this top 10 list is good enough for the Japanese, I thought it would be at least a good place to start. I also wanna mention that this list only includes public and charter schools and doesn't include any schools that I personally attended. So there's no bias or favoritism. Just disappointment, embarrassment, really. Nah, just kidding. And disclaimer, just because a school is not on a top 10 list does not mean that the teachers and students at that school are not capable or are somehow inadequate. You know, I believe that there are many factors that contribute to the success of a student, the most important of which is parent support. All of the information in this video, including proficiency numbers and school profiles, are available on the Department of Education website if you're interested. So with that, let's get started. Hey, that sounds like one school for coconuts. Coco Head Elementary School in Hawaii Kai offers K through five and has approximately 285 students. The school serves the community with rigorous standards-based education that nurtures the whole child. Their vision is to develop a community of learners who are empowered to become contributing members to the global society. Their mission is to provide a supportive environment to develop compassionate, critical thinkers. They are an international baccalaureate candidate school and aspire to offer the IB primary years program as an IB world school. In addition to the core academic subjects, all students are offered Japanese, art, computer, Hawaiian studies, and physical education. Some performance highlights include 74% proficiency in language arts, 73% proficiency in math, and 93% proficiency in science. 82% of third graders read on grade level and 80% of students feel positively about their school. Oh, that place sounds so fancy. Comes with one castle or what? Palisades Elementary School in Pearl City offers K through six and has approximately 423 students. The school strives towards its vision of developing lifelong learners. At Palisades, they craft curricula and utilize state recommended programs to generate student success. The Magic of a Million Reading Incentive Program encourages school-wide literacy and hunger for knowledge. Aquaponics, STEM, and online programs support science and foster interactive growth. Innovative technologies such as 3D printers encourage creative thinking and develop project-based learning. Some performance highlights include a 78% proficiency in language arts, 74% proficiency in math, and 88% proficiency in science. 93% of third graders can read on a grade level and 82% of students feel positively about their school. Hey, you ever been Mililani? Bruh, the road's so nice and wide. Mililani Uka Elementary School in Mililani offers K through five and has approximately 704 students. The school emphasizes high academic standards, a positive learning environment, parental involvement, and the development of good character and civic responsibility. They provide tailored interventions to students and professional development to educators to help them implement research-based strategies. Art, music, healthy activities, and technology are infused in the curriculum. Student activities include student council, junior police officers, chorus, and cross country and track. So performance highlights include a 74% proficiency in language arts, 66% proficiency in math, and 75% in science. 87% of third graders read on grade level, and 81% of students feel positively about their school. What? Milan needs to get two good elementary schools. Ah, lose money. Milani Malka Elementary School in Milani offers K through five and has approximately 777 students. At Milani Malka, use of technology to enhance teaching and learning is 
integral to the student's operation. The school was built under Harvard's Project Zero Smart School on a principle that learning is a consequence of thinking and should be reflective of deeper understanding. The school's mission is to develop each individual to be a thinking learner and an active user of knowledge. And as a result, complex thinking is an integral part of the school's culture. For several years, the school has focused on standards of mathematical practices, in particular practice three, constructing viable arguments and critiquing the reasoning of others. An additional focus has been in the area of responding to questions based upon informational text. Students are asked to identify details from the text to support their thinking and reasoning. Some performance highlights include a 77% proficiency in language arts, 77% in math, and 76% in science. 92% of third graders read on grade level and 82% of students feel positively about their school. Oh, there we go. That sounds like one local school. Momilani Elementary School in Pearl City offers K through six and has approximately 408 students. The school's commitment to excellence in all aspects of teaching and learning is reflected in their mission of quality education in a safe, caring environment. Collaboration, teamwork, shared vision, and shared leadership are the driving forces behind the school's effective research-based school improvement process. Extracurricular activities include foreign language, art, music, dance, intramurals, and drama. Some performance highlights include an 85% proficiency in language arts, 88% in math, and 81% in science. 88% of third graders read on grade level and 94% of students feel positively about their school. Hey, I know, if you can't pronounce the name, hey, that's okay, because get small kind plenty of vowels, that's why. Pa'oa Elementary School in Honolulu offers K through five and has approximately 316 students. The school thrives on increasing growth for all students through a cohesive data team process and implementation of its practices and actions, such as the use of iReady, 45 minute intervention blocks Monday through Friday, use of small group instruction and action plans created by each teacher to show growth for each student. They recognize the importance of developing the whole child and provide many opportunities for students to learn and develop, such as the Second Step Program for Social Emotional Learning, Gifted and Talented STEM Programs, World Language, Fitness Challenge and Morning Fitness, Robotics, G-Tech Weekly Broadcast, Singing and Ukulele, the Chevron Speech Festival, Science Showcase, After School Tutoring, and Intramural Track and Field. Whew, that was, that was a lot of stuff. So performance highlights include a 75% proficiency in language arts, 77% in math, and 68% in science. 87% of third graders read on grade level, and 86% of students feel positively about their school. You mean Lani Kai? No, when they went change them. Kaohao School, a charter school in Kailua, offers K through six and has approximately 341 students. Lanikai Elementary Public Charter School became Kaohao Public Charter School in 2017. They strive to empower the students to solve real world problems, respect their community and cultural values, endeavor to develop children who are confident and creative builders of their futures. The name change represents much of what the school stands for. In many ways, they are time and joining together the past, the present, and the future. They do this humbly with cultural respect and understanding and applying knowledge from awareness to action, the chief aim of education. Why Waikiki need one school? Wanna get tourists anyway? Waikiki Elementary School in Waikiki offers K through five and has approximately 578 students. The school's vision is to nurture and practice thinking, collaboration, and thoughtfulness. The school offers such programs as philosophy of children, creative movement and dance, Hawaiian studies, computer, peer mediation, drama, reading improvement to support emergent readers, after school enrichment academies. Flourishing partners with the Master of Education in Teaching program and the Philosophy Department at the University of Hawaii provide exceptional opportunities for professional growth, supportive of student achievement. Some performance highlights include a 81% proficiency in language arts, 78% in math, and 93% in science. 96% of third graders read on grade level, and 85% of students feel positively about their school. And by the way, this would be the school I would send my child to. I like that they are successful in science, especially reading, and the school is also a great location. 
Hey, I heard that's one nice school. And after I go pick up my kid, bruh, I'm gonna stop by Target. I heard get some pretty good deals. Hey, I gotta use my red card. Kaele Pulu Elementary School in Kailua offers K through six and has approximately 212 students. The school continues to develop and implement a balanced literacy program that integrates various modalities of literacy instruction. The math program comprises real life applications while an inquiry based science program that includes exploration in the school garden is being developed. Special programs include a daily morning broadcast Cast, Kokua Crew, and an after school Japanese language program. Additionally, the junior police officers and student council programs provide meaningful leadership opportunities for students. Some performance highlights include a 79% proficiency in language arts, 80% in math, and 85% in science. 79% of third graders read on grade level, and 90% of students feel positively about their school. Laboratory, what kind of name is that? Sounds like they're gonna teach lab rats or something. University Laboratory School, a charter school in Manoa, offers K through 12 and has approximately 59 students in K through five. University Lab serves two interlocking missions, to design and deliver the best possible education to their own students, and to serve the educational research and development community as a seedbed for curriculum research and development. They are the only school in Hawaii focused in part on supporting educational research and development and disseminating educational materials and improvement strategies. University Lab rates high among the state schools in academic achievement and participation in extracurricular activities. Students consistently earn awards in competitions in the arts, music, writing, and speech, and also earn consistently high scores on standardized and other tests and almost all of the graduates go on to post-secondary education. So those are the top 10 elementary schools on Oahu, at least according to Sumu. And I think it's really interesting where the schools are located. By just looking at where the elementary schools are, maybe it's hard to notice a pattern. But if you also look at where the top middle and high schools are located, you begin to notice a trend. Just something to think about. So thanks for watching and aloha.